Hey guys, what's up? It's Ragar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be doing something uh, kind of special, kind of different. Um, we are getting really close to 1,500 subscribers, and um, I think we're like, excuse me, I'm, I'm kind of recovering from a cold, but we're um, getting really close to 1,500 subscribers. I think we're like 20 or so um, away, and so I wanted to do something really special since I had some time and I wanted to go over my entire Star Wars collection. Oh, actually it's Star Wars and Halo um, and a couple other random things, uh, but I've got it all laid out. I've commandeered the living room, so um, I've got it all laid out. I've even commandeered the kitchen. Um, so I'm going to go through pretty much um, all of my figures, all my helmets, all the vehicles, one six scale, three and three quarter inch, six inch. I'm going through pretty much all of it. Um, I probably won't talk about every single piece, you know, you know, individually, but we'll kind of cover my favorites, I guess. Uh, so we'll start here with the three and three quarter inch ones since they're right here in front of me. Down here in the corner, um, we've got uh, just some clone troopers, Yoda, Star Killer. Uh, one of my first action figures, Zam Wessel. More clone troopers. Quaylen Voss. Everyone's favorite here. Uh, Commander Colt. I can't believe how much these guys have gone up in value. I bought this one just off the shelf for like, you know, six bucks. You know, maybe, maybe eight bucks. Um, and now they're like 90. It's insane. Down here, another expensive ARC trooper figure. Again, that... I can't believe how much they've gone up in value. More clone troopers. Um, you'll see a bunch of these scattered throughout here. Clone Wars Commander Cody Captain Rex. Um, an older Chewbacca figure. Um, matchstick. More clones. Kind of an interesting one here. I think this is Biggs in um, TIE Fighter Disguise. Or TIE Fighter Pilot Disguise. Pretty cool. Uh, the original Republic Commando uh, Scorch, Saj Ventress, uh, Vintage Collection General Grievous, Commander Wolf, old, old Han Solo, one of my first figures again. Coming through, IG-88, Darth Maul, another Yoda, another one of my first figures here. And these are in no particular order in anything, I, I just got them out of the box. Uh, the reason they're set up like this is because I don't actually have room uh, to display these figures um, all the time. So, um, unfortunately, I have to keep them, you know, in a box. Vintage Collection uh, Commander Cody here. I just reviewed this guy recently, 501st Trooper. Another Clone Wars Commander Cody. Cool one here, Flame Trooper. Uh, 212 Airborne, Hologram Darth Maul, kind of an unusual figure, doesn't actually come with a double bladed lightsaber, he's just got the one side um, ignited, so always was disappointed with that. Another one of my first figures here, Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan, 41st Elite, one of my least favorite um, action figures of all time, the Tridroid here. Um, it just is like horribly underscaled. It's not that it looks bad or anything. It just, you know, these are enormous. They're not three and three quarter size, you know. Geonosian, uh, Commander Bakara, another Clone Wars, Commander Cody, different one. Absolutely fantastic destroyer droid here. I think this is from the Phantom Menace. Really a uh, cool figure to track down. Another great one, uh, Obi-Wan and the clone armor from the original Clone Wars. Fee, Imperial Evo Trooper. We got Sev, Captain Rex, Hawkbat, uh, Dexter Jetster. A uh, pretty cool figure. Even though he's not the most important character, I still like that one a lot. We've got, you know, Imperial Officer, Commander Gree, Sev, uh, Galactic Marine, Let's see, we got uh, Snow Uniform, Captain Rex, another Destroyer Droid, Kashyyyk Clone Trooper, Obi-Wan, Heavy, 
Uh, this is the uh, Darth Vader that's got the Luke head under there. You can pull his helmet apart. Let's see, anyone else interesting in here? Oh, kind of, I think in my opinion, uh, underrated figures. Those uh, Walmart exclusive ones are actually pretty good. Uh, Boss, ATRT Trooper, or a uh, pilot. Let's see, Kit Fisto, super articulated, droid commando. Another one of my first ones here, very old Darth Vader, Attack of the Clones line. A couple Jabba's up here. This one is from Attack of the Clones. This is a much newer one. It was in that uh, Jabba's Palace battle pack with the Rancor. Then we got Slave Leia, a couple Jawas. We got Reyes. Actually, not a bad figure. Don't know why you would make a figure of a background character like that. Still like it though. We got Captain Disappointment here. Good figure, just disappointing character. It's a trap. We got uh, Admiral Akbar, Assassin Droid. Really cool figure. It's from a comic book two pack. Uh, Wolf, uh, Commander Wolf. Some more uh, Clone Wars battle droids. The Anakin from that two pack. Up here, Imperial Guard. These are newer ones. Here's a 5 POA one. Um, Ahsoka. We got the purple uh, Galactic uh, um, Galactic Marine. Yeah, sorry guys, if I get some of these names wrong, uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm trying to go through fairly quickly, so don't, don't roast me too much. One of the greatest Star Wars action figures of all time, at least for three and three quarter inch, Gamorrean Guard, just looks absolutely fantastic when his helmet is not on the floor. Uh, one of my favorite three and three quarter inch figures of all time, uh, Captain Cassian, they just did an excellent job. Um, something about it just it it feels sturdy. It's well articulated. It looks like the character. Really like it. Then we got Owen Frita again. Another character that's like kind of why? Why would you bother? But I still love it though. Um, and then one of my least favorites again up here in the corner. Um, this came in a little pack with uh, the uh, alien from the uh, seventh movie. Just a really boring figure. Uh, but anyway, let's move on here. Kind of stand up and let you look at them all here too. Sorry if you hear some crunching, I've got a cough drop in my mouth. Okay, so coming over here. These are some things that... Um, well, we'll start over here. This is a uh, droid blaster here. Really cool. And then these are some things that I've made myself. So this is a, an assault rifle from Halo 4 that I made out of wood. And then down here is a sword that's been made out of wood. I'm really proud of these. Um, I, thought, I think I did a pretty nice job on them all. Stand up so you can actually see them. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud of these. Um, I've got videos on both of them too if you want to see a more in-depth look at those. Then swinging around up over here, we I, I love the animals of Star Wars. So we've got, I've got them all lined up over here. Kadu with uh, tarples there. We'll come back to another version there. There's that, uh, I can't think of what the name of this is offhand. Uh, but he came packed with that, that figure that I don't like. Bantha. Now this is a figure that I absolutely love. Real fur. Really, really cool looking. Sorry for the not great lighting. We got the Rancor. Pretty sweet looking. Got the Boga. And then I just put this in over here. Uh, vintage uh, Darth Vader carrying case. I'm trying to get into collecting more of the uh, vintage stuff, and I figured this was a good place uh, to start. Then, coming down here, we got the droid gunship. Hailfire droid. This is the blue and red version. General Grievous' wheel bike. Really, really cool uh, toy. If you can track one down, it's definitely worth it. Then, uh, one of my favorite vehicles from Star Wars, at least for the uh, droids, the... Uh, AAT, or ATT, excuse me. Um, I'm trying to collect all the different paint variants. So we've got the Geonosis, Clone Wars, 
Um, Phantom Menace, this is a 30th anniversary one where they did kind of a realistic Geonosis version. Um, and then this is the Christosis 2-pack um, regular Clone Wars. And this is it's interesting. There's only one more paint variant uh, that I don't have. And it looks almost identical to this, except there is an extra blue stripe that comes down um, here. And it's sort of interesting. That one is really expensive to get. It's even more expensive than this one is, um, you know, because when you buy this one, <laughs> You, you get a pack of, you know, tons of figures and an ATAP. Um, you know, I don't know why the, the regular Clone Wars release is so expensive. Maybe somebody will let me know. Then over here we got Anakin's Pod Racer. With, this came with it when I bought it. This poor guy here. Missing all of his arms if he'll focus. Just kind of a sad life for this guy. That's why I've left him in there. He deserves a little bit of love, you know. We've got Darth Maul's, uh, was it Sith Infiltrator here? We've got the Phantom Menace version of the Vulture Droid. We've got the Tri Droid, really cool one here. That spins there, it's pretty cool. Then we got the uh, Clone Wars version with the blue and gray. And then we've got the Hyena Bomber. Uh, one thing that's really interesting about this is I made the review for this years and years ago. Um, and it's one of my more popular videos, uh, but when I was looking, I, you know, I make a lot of these reviews really quickly. Um, and so I looked at the box and, and I saw Hyena, and I was like, surely that can't be like the animal Hyena, that doesn't make any sense. So I said Henya Bomber, because I was thinking, okay, maybe it's just a coincidence. Uh, but no, it's supposed to be Hyena, and I looked like an idiot. Um, pretty funny. So if you, if you want to, uh, <laughs> go leave a comment on that video saying, it's hyena like the animal, uh, I would really love to, <laughs> I would really love to see it. There's already, there's only like 50 of those on there already. All right, so moving on, uh, from these, uh, to something kind of different. Um, one thing I, I really, uh, love about, uh, Star Wars is the, uh, costuming and um, you know I've collected a lot of masks and helmets now this is the Novos uh, Shadow Stormtrooper helmet and uh, I bought it as part of the kit where I can uh, put together the armor and you know the helmet came assembled and it looks really nice um, I will say one problem with it uh, is don't buy from Anovos. Um they I ordered this. I, I I ordered this with the first paycheck from the first job I ever got, um, and that was in uh, 2015, uh, the summer of 2015, and it just got to me this year. Uh, you know, the pre-order was only out. It was only supposed to take a year to get to me, but somehow they managed to make it last almost three years, just under three years. Um, and then when I finally did get it. Um, one of the pieces of the armor, it was a piece of the leg armor, was mismolded, and I had to contact them again and prove that, you know, it wasn't something I did to the piece, it was like mismolded that they, you know, didn't catch. I um, mean, they didn't believe me the first time. They said, um, <laughs> they said, uh, no, you just have to cut the piece out. I'm like, I look, I know you have to cut the piece out. It's a kit. Uh, what I'm saying is the, the part is mismolded. And, you know, finally, after all this, they did agree to send me one out. But honestly, after purchasing from them, it's not worth it. It takes way too long. I mean, I know that they've changed the way they manufacture their stuff, but this is ridiculous. Uh, you know what I mean? It should never take that long to get something, you know, made of plastic out to me, you know. Especially, you know, when you pay. I got in for the cheapest price, which was like 400 bucks shipped to your house for the whole kit and, you know, everything. You know, people paid way more than me, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks to get it shipped to them. You know, it shouldn't take that long. But in, rant over. I'm sorry. Shouldn't rant. Darth Maul uh, mask here. Another uh, video that I have that's popular almost for no reason. Um, if you look on my channel, this is one of the most popular videos that I have. And frankly, I'm not sure why. I put it up sort of just as a whim. Um, and then we've got the Halo Legendary Edition. 
um, statue here. You can see me in the reflection of the visor. Hello! Um, really cool piece. You can't actually put it on your head, but you know, it, it matches everything else over here. Then we've got the uh, Hasbro 501st Clone Trooper helmet. Not the most accurate uh, or most detailed, but for the price that I got it for, definitely worth adding to the collection. Then we've got the Black Series uh, Poe Dameron uh, helmet. This is pretty new, so I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it. Then we've got this guy over here. This is the uh, Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story. And kind of the reason that I own this guy um, is, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the show, but something about his design really drew me to him. Um, this is kind of spoilers for the show, so look away if you don't, if you want to watch it. But uh, if you come over here, you can open that up, and he's got, you know, like his mouth, and it's all gross. Um, so I just had to, I had to have this mask um, when I when I saw the show. And then we've got the uh, Black Series Stormtrooper helmet. Pretty cool. This is the Rogue One version, so these are sculpted in there. Really, really nice looking. Um, I, I definitely recommend picking one of these up while they're still cheap. Um, I'm assuming that you can still get these for fairly cheap, because they will go up in value. I, I can almost guarantee it. The Black Hole one has already uh, gone up in value. The Amazon exclusive one's doubled in price. So... Get one while you still can, I would say. Then over here, um, these are something um, that I've actually made. Um, so I don't know where you would put this in a collection because, you know, I, I made them. So um, I, I designed um, all of the parts flat um, out of cardboard and I cut them out. So if you would like to know how to make these two Hoth turrets, I do actually have a a video series on how to do those. I put a ton of work <laughs> into those videos and they're not very popular. So if you want to know how to make these, they're super cheap, fairly easy um, if you've got some some basic skills. Um, so check that out. And then this is a project I'm currently working on, which is an ATTE um, in scale uh, with the uh, three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures. Let me grab a uh, clone here. So as you can see, Pretty cool. Um, I think it'll be a little bit larger than the um, Hasbro one that they made, um, just because I'm I'm making it uh, true. Uh, I think it's I think it's one eighteenth scale. So um, something I'm really proud of, and hopefully I'll I'll have some time to finish it up here pretty soon. Let me get some different shots on it. I worked really hard on this so far, and I think it looks uh, you know pretty decent. It's not it's not like 100% accurate or anything, but something I'm pretty proud of. Alright, so I'm going to swing around here to my display case. This is where I keep a lot of my uh, uh, more high-end figures and my Black Series. Uh, but we'll start up at the very top here, over on the side. We got the Hasbro Zuckus. Let me zoom in on him. A newer figure that I just picked up recently. Uh, really great looking. Um, actually, for the price, I would say get this one over the Hot Toys one. Um, swinging around here, we've got the, I think this is the ATST driver here. Um, and then we've got the Imperial Officer. Again, for the price, these are really um, pretty good figures. We've got the old Hasbro, or I think this may even be Kenner. I think I'm pretty sure it's Kenner. Um, uh, Snow Trooper and uh, Luke in Hoth gear. These are again, these are really great. Um, I like to pick and choose the uh, Hasbro ones because some of them, some of them look good and some of them don't. I think kind of the strength for the the line comes from the uh, more of the background characters, you know, because there are some sideshow versions of these, uh, but they're really expensive, you know, and it's just an Imperial officer. So unless they're your favorite, I would just say pick um, pick one of these up. And then we've got the Hasbro Count Dooku, which is pretty much the only option right now. Um, I've seen, I feel like I saw an image on Sideshow's website of one, but it wasn't, you know, a listing for one for sale. It was like used as a piece, so I don't know if they're teasing one or not. 
um, but I'd love to see a, a really high-end Count Dooku. And then we've got a Hasbro uh, clone or a droid commander here. Pretty cool figure. I got this one for like 10 bucks or something, so you can find them out there for pretty cheap. And then we've got this one here, Han Solo and Tauntaun. This is an actual 1-6 scale. If you look down here, you know, these are your hot toys here. Up there, Han with Tauntaun. Really cool, again, you know, for the, for the price, you can get a really cool figure um, from Hasbro. Or again, it may be, I don't remember what years this was released from. I'm pretty sure it's Hasbro, though. And then we've got the old McFarlane 12-inch Master Chief. So coming down here, we've got the Sideshow Collectibles um, Ben Kenobi. Pretty cool. And then this is a little custom figure I did. Kind of looks like me. Um, I just uh, I threw it together pretty quickly. I just wanted an action figure that kind of looked like me. We've got the Hot Toys Leia in the uh, you know first appearance uh, outfit, which is my favorite. Then we've got a cheap uh, Hasbro R two D two here. Uh, I think he doesn't look too bad in the case with the more expensive figures. Then we've got Farm Boy Luke here from Hot Toys. Again, that's my favorite um, version of Luke. Uh, so I had to pick up a, a really nice version. And then we've got Chewbacca here, Hot Toys. I got the two-pack with Han Solo. So I've got him displayed with the larger Stormtrooper Blaster, which was an exclusive to the pack, which is pretty cool. And then we've got um, R5-D4 here. This is an old Kenner one. Pretty cool looking. Again, I don't think he looks half bad in the case with these uh, more expensive ones. Then we've got Darth Vader here. I'm pretty sure this is the Return of the Jedi version. I may be wrong though, I don't remember offhand. Um, in my opinion, Darth Vader is Darth Vader, so I know there are small differences, but in my opinion, you know, it's just Darth Vader. Then we've got this astromech droid here. Don't remember what this one's name is, but it's a Hasbro one. And then we've got my Marmot Stormtrooper. Um, if you want to know more about this, this is actually a custom. Um, it's a model kit, but I customized it a little bit. Uh, watch the review for it. Um, I go in more depth there. I had a lot of problems with it, so. Um, but it uh, really looks good at the end of the day. And then down here, we've got Sideshow Collectibles Commander Gree. Absolutely fantastic. The Clone Troopers are my absolute favorite. Um, and, you know, this one here looks, you know, really amazing. And just so I don't forget them, we've got a uh, Red Arm C-3PO back here. This is a Hasbro one, kind of tucked in the back there. 212th Airborne in the back there, Sideshow again. I've got the exclusive one with the exclusive base. Okay, sorry about the cut, guys. Started uh, coughing there, I had to get a glass of water. <laughs> so, um, that's the worst part about having a cold, is that cough, like you feel fine, but you've got that cough that just kind of hangs on forever. But anyway, Sideshow Collectibles 212th uh, Clone Trooper. Uh, 212 is my favorite division of clones. I love Commander Cody, love Obi-Wan, so, you know, these are must-haves um, for me. Uh, this is the newer version of the uh, 212 Clone Trooper with the uh, spandex-style bodysuit. Um, as you can see, he's got the minigun here, too. Um, I would love to track down the Waxer and Boyle 2-pack with the little Twi'lek girl, um, but they're just very expensive, so maybe someday, hopefully, we'll see. And my favorite uh, character, uh, at least clone character, Commander Cody here, absolutely fantastic. This is the first Sideshow Clone Trooper I uh, ever bought, so um, one of my favorites. And then the first Sideshow figure I ever bought was uh, Episode 3, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is really where the, the love of 12-inch uh, um, action figures came from, or Star Wars action figures. And then we've got... Uh, Revenge of the Sith Anakin here. 
This is just the regular release, which I actually prefer to the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive one with the uh, Sith eyes. But uh, really cool figure uh, either way. We've got Captain Rex there. And again, you can see me um, in the mirror back there. Uh, we've got Captain Rex here, Phase 2. Uh, exclusive with, you know, he's got his jetpack on and, and everything. Really cool figure. He's probably my second favorite clone trooper. Not to be, I mean, it's kind of a stereotype. You know, Commander Cody favorite, Captain Rex second favorite. We've got the 501st clone trooper here. Pretty cool. We've got Plo Koon here, Sideshow, and Kit Fisto. Really cool figures. Um, definitely, they're not my favorite characters, but they look absolutely fantastic on the shelf, so really uh, had to track them down. And then here we've got a Hasbro 12-inch uh, scale Yoda. And um, this is a figure that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. Um, but he, they really did a nice job. He comes with his chair and everything. And he's got, I don't know if you can see it here, I'll zoom in on it. He's got actual like fuzz hair, um, which is just really funny to me. <laughs> Normally I hate gimmicks like that, but that one's just really funny uh, for some reason. So coming down here to the next row, we've got uh, Trader here. Uh, this is from the two-pack with uh, Hot Toys Finn um, over there, so he comes with the exclusive shield. So in my opinion, he's Trader instead of just a regular uh, First Order Stormtrooper. Then we've got the uh, Snow Trooper two-pack here. Um, really cool First Order Snow Troopers uh, from Hot Toys. Really, really cool. Hot Toys does a fantastic job um, with, you know, their stuff. I mean, these look great. Sometimes the articulation is not the greatest, but, uh, you know, for the most part, when they're on the shelf, they look fantastic. And then we've got uh, Sideshow Qui-Gon Jinn here, one of my favorite characters. I really like Liam Neeson as an actor, um, and I really like Qui-Gon as a character. And then we've got another one of my favorites here. We've got Darth Maul. This is the Sideshow Collectibles Darth Maul. Mine's not in the best of shape because I bought him used, um, but when he's on the shelf like this, you can, can't tell. And we've got Kylo Ren, Hot Toys here. Really cool figure. Um, say what you will about the, uh, you know, the new movies. I, I liked uh, Episode 7 a lot. I, I really, really did not like 8. Um, if you did like it though, I mean, that's that's fine. Everyone's got an opinion. You know, I just didn't like it. Um, then we got BB-8 down here. This is a Hasbro one. But again, I, I you know, I think Hasbro did an okay job. And he looks fine um, on the shelf. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, then we got Finn here. A lot of people don't like Finn, I feel like, but uh, I really like Finn uh, as a character. I think he's really cool. And then we've got, you know, everyone's favorite here. Ray. Really cool. Again, both of these are from uh, Hot Toys. Then coming down here, we've got the criminally overpacked uh, Black Series figures. Um, I've got uh, a lot of them. I am, I've been getting a lot of the ones um, that they've been releasing recently. Um, I won't go through every single one of these, um, but I do have a pretty reasonable collection. You know, we've got some great ones up here um, displayed in the front. You know, Constable Zuvono is a classic. You know, he's the probably one of the most desirable figures from the line. I think everyone should own a Constable Zuvono. Of course, I'm joking. Um, I don't mind the design, um, but I don't know why he was a, you know, first wave figure for them. We do have Darth Revan here, which is an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, and one that uh, I think fans will really um, artificially increase the price of. And then we've got um, this one over here. I can never remember his, his name. I always call him Vacuum Cleaner Man um, from Rogue One. And then over here on the side, you swing around, we've got his buddy, uh, Blind Person. Again, I, I can never remember his name. I really like those characters. I just can never remember their names for whatever reason. We've got a Jawa down here in the front. Um, this is me attempting to try and, 
you know, have, have you guys see every, every figure because they're shorter. I brought them up front. We've got Jabba, the uh, Biker Scout, and we've got all the Astromex and uh, BB-8 lined up here in the front. And then we've got some of my favorite Black Series figures. Um, we've got Kanan, Hera, Ahsoka, and Sabine. Uh, hopefully they'll do uh, <clears throat> um, Zeb, Chopper, and uh, Ezra to finish off the team, but no telling when we'll get those. Then we've got uh, some new figures I've picked up. Captain Rex, um, Gree, and Cody. Um, again, I love the clone troopers, that's why they're front and center. And then swing around over here on the side. I've got some uh, new movie characters, DJ and Rose. I don't know why everyone hates on Rose so much. I mean, she's not like the best, but I didn't hate her. Um, you know, I thought some of the scenes on the, uh, uh, what was that, the gambling planet, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I thought that those were kind of lame, but I mean, I don't hate the character. It's not really the character's fault. I mean, uh, other scenes, I think she did a fine job. And then we've got, uh, oh, what is the, the Foosh column? I think he's uh, Gus or whatever. Really great figure though. Um, just reviewed that. Um, absolutely uh, fantastic. Then down here we've got my uh, first order. Um, some really cool ones. We've got uh, Captain Disappointment right there. Now, one thing that I think is really interesting about this character um, is, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you remember this, right when it came out, that figure was so expensive. Everyone wanted it. And then, after the movie came out, everyone was like, oh, Captain Phasma was sort of lame. <laughs> and then Hasbro released a ton of them, and now they're worth, you know, practically nothing. I actually found mine on the shelf, um, and I got it on sale for 16 bucks, which, at the time, they were going for like, between 90 and 150 or something ridiculous. So um, I was pretty happy with that. I know this isn't Black Series, but the NECA 18-inch Master Chief. One of the figures that really launched my channel, um, I was one of the first, if not the first, to put a review up of this guy on YouTube, and I could not believe the views that came with that. Um, you know, <laughs> at the time that I made that review, most of my videos were getting like two or three views. I had one other video that was doing really well, but this one here got like 5,000 in a month or something ridiculous, and I just couldn't believe it. So there's a good chance that, you know, maybe some of you came to my channel, you know, from this uh, figure. But anyway, back to uh, Black Series here. Got some more. I love the animals of Star Wars. So, uh, Wampa and Tauntaun, they're just the best of friends back there hanging out. And then we've got some vehicles here Luke Speeder, the new Dewback with Sand Trooper. Absolutely had to have this, uh, and it's great. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to review it soon. I've got a huge backlog of videos right now, um, but hopefully, I'll be able to review it. And then, uh, Ray with her speeder. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the cabinet. <clears throat> I'll stand back so you can kind of see it here. Um, pretty much got it filled to maximum capacity. And then over here we've got the Black Series uh, tie. Really cool uh, toy. It's just it's just too big. You know, it's, it's one of those things where it, it works as the centerpiece of your collection. Uh, but it's just way too big. Um, I think that's kind of what hurt it as far as sales. And then over here, uh, this is my replica um, of Lucille from The Walking Dead. Um, it's got actual barbed wire and everything. Um, this is actually its normal spot. Keep it right here by the front door. Kind of cool. And then we've got my Saber Forge Obi-Wan uh, lightsaber. This isn't an officially licensed product, but it's pretty much the best version um, of the you know Obi-Wan's lightsaber you can get. It's all uh, milled aluminum, and when you turn it on, 
it looks absolutely fantastic. It looks weird on camera. It really glows vibrantly um, in person. Really, really cool though. If you like, uh, if you like lightsabers, Saber Forge does a really nice job, even though they are expensive. Uh, you really do get what you pay for. So let's go ahead and swing over here. Kind of show you. There's everything we've looked at so far. We've got some kind of miscellaneous stuff over here. So this is a 12-inch scale Captain Tarples with k -Doo. Um And let me turn this lamp on here. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a professional here. I was I'm prepared. Yeah, here we go. Okay. And this is one of those figures that I love because why does it exist? Um, if you can see this, it's absolutely enormous. Here's like here's my hand here. You know, it's huge, um, and it came out well after Phantom Menace. You know, and everyone knows Phantom Menace didn't really go over that well, especially the toys. Um, you know, so then why did they decide to make Captain Tarples and K do this huge thing? Really bizarre, uh, but I absolutely love it because I love the animals of Star Wars, and this they just did a really nice job with this K do, um, and the Captain Tarples you know isn't bad. He really does represent the character. Then we've got um, some 12 inch uh, speeder bikes here. This one's got Indoor Leia. This one's got Indoor Luke. Uh, this one was released much later by Hasbro. I think the original one might be a Kenner product, though. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but either way, both really cool. And for a long time, this was the only way to get the a 12-inch version of Luke in the uh, indoor gear. I think now they're doing a Hot Toys version, though. Then down here, we've got some Unleashed statues. Sidious and Yoda. This is a really cool one. I absolutely love these Unleashed statues. I, I need to get more of them. Um, a lot of them are, are kind of going up in price, though. Then we've got Anakin here from Revenge of the Sith with the, all the lava coming up around him. Really cool. And then we've got Obi-Wan kind of falling over here. Mine's not in the best of shape because I bought him used, um, but he was pretty cheap, so I can't complain too much. And then one that I've had since I was a kid, my parents actually bought this for me for Christmas. They said that it was on clearance, uh, which is crazy, because this thing is really cool. I can't imagine that this was a shelf warmer, but you, know, you never know, right? Pretty cool there. We'll swing across here. Would you look at that? This is a very rare collectible here, this couch. Wow, and look at this, it's even got cough drops on it. Amazing. <laughs> Too many remotes as well. Um, over here, we've got some uh, vinyl. Uh, most of them are Diamond Select. This one over here, uh, <laughs> I don't remember offhand. It's made by some like weird random company. Um, I've got a review up for it. I think it's, it's Biggs, I think? Or no, 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 no. Uh, I can't, I can't remember. I'll, I'll look it up after the video's over, um, but a kind of a bizarre thing. It, it looks really nice. It's just sort of unusual. But we've got a Cad Bane, uh, Diamond Select Bus Bank. We've got, I think this is Thyre here, if I remember correctly, not just a regular Shock Trooper. And then we've got Clone Wars Darth Maul. Darth Maul is one of my favorite characters, so I really wanted to have this. We've got Boba. Classic, you've got to have Boba. And then we've got, of course, my favorite clone trooper, Commander Cody. Now, interestingly, uh, I actually have two of these. Um, I, I ordered this from GameStop, which is something I never recommend you do. I've only ordered from them a handful of times, and literally every single time I have a problem. When I ordered this one, they sent me the first one, it was broken, and I had to ask them for a new one, which is why I have two. They never wanted the original one back. Um, the second time uh, I ordered from them, I ordered the uh, Imperial, um, Imperial Guards 4-pack. They sent me two of them. They charged me twice. 
sent me two of them and I had to basically, I lost 30 bucks for shipping. Or no, not 30 bucks. It was less than that. Like, you know, seven bucks or something for shipping. Um, and I've also ordered, I, I ordered the, uh, or actually pre-ordered the um, Battlefront 2 TIE Pilot. Um, and they just never sent it to me. So I don't know what GameStop's deal is, especially with pre-orders. Pre-ordered the Imperial, um, Imperial Guard 4-pack and that uh, TIE Pilot. And uh, mm, both times problems, especially for a company that's known for doing pre-orders on video games. You'd think that they'd have this down, uh, but sometime, somehow they don't. So I'm um, really disappointed that Hasbro gave uh, GameStop the uh, Commander Wolf clone trooper, so I'm going to try and buy it from somebody else, even a scalper, just to avoid buying from GameStop. Uh, but either way, rant over, moving on. We've got some more stuff over here. We've got some Unleashed Battle Packs. This is the Hoth one. We've got Mace Windu's clones here, some Stormtroopers, um, some, I think these were 501st, and then there's an Arc Trooper, and then some 41st Elite with uh, Gree here. And then I've got two different versions, <coughs> excuse me, um, of the ATST, um, just two different releases. Really, really cool version of this vehicle. Uh, one of the best, in my opinion. Um, and then on a lot of my uh, Titanium uh, series. So we've got Obi-Wan Starfighter. We've got Wicket on the speeder bike, which is just, that's just hilarious. V19 Torrent, uh, Scout Trooper on the bike. Tana 4, General Grievous' Starfighter, ARC 170. This is the one with the Wampa on the front here. And then we've got Poe Dameron's helmet and a First Order TIE Pilot Elite, I think is what these are called. Um, die cast again. Darth Maul speeder bike, Slave 1, Django Fett Slave 1, um, and the TIE, I think this is the Interceptor. Ooh boy, I'm going to get roasted for that one. I don't remember offhand what that is. But I've got the large version and the small one. And then a 30th anniversary collection um, TIE Fighter here. Okay, sorry guys, had another coughing fit again. Finally, for this shelf over here, this is something, again, that you can't buy. Um, this is something I actually sculpted myself. Uh, I sculpted this my senior year of high school. And it's got actual LEDs in the lightsaber um, that you can turn on. And this is actual fabric, um, which is some, it's something I'm really proud of. Uh, I think some of the sculpting techniques that I used were a little amateurish looking back. Um, especially if you look at it up close, it doesn't look, yeah, you know, as good. Um, but you live and you learn, right? You get better as you practice. Um, you know, so maybe someday I'll revisit this again and, and do another one that, you know, looks more like uh, Yoda. And obviously this is the prequel version Yoda, not the original. So I might try maybe an original trilogy Yoda. And then finally, let's walk across my house here into the kitchen, which I commandeered. And let's look at my Republic three and three quarter inch vehicle collection. We'll start over here in the front with my favorites, the Republic gunship. So uh, this is my favorite vehicle um, from Star Wars and it's my favorite toy from the Star Wars line, any of them. Um, all of the all of the versions of it, um, they're all my favorite. So this is the original release, the uh, Attack of the Clones version. Um, again, like I said, these were the holy grail for me. Um, you know, they're really they're they've always been very expensive, and so it makes them hard to collect. Um, and this one over here, this is the Revenge of the Sith one, um, was actually given to me for Christmas. Um, I think it was not last year, but the year before. And it's the greatest Christmas present I've ever received from any any person. Just it was so thoughtful, and you know I knew it was expensive and 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 everything. So I really appreciate this, and and it's 
one of the, the pinnacles of my collection are these three. These ones I bought myself, but this one here especially, I really love. Um, and then this is the Command Gunship. Just kind of a different paint variant. I would love to have a version of um, every paint variant they released. Um, you know, with the Tiger Shark being the absolute pinnacle. Uh, that's my favorite design, is the Tiger Shark one, but it's way too expensive. I just can't bring myself to buy it. Then we've got the, I think this is called a Republic tank, I don't remember offhand. Sorry guys, it's it's pretty late right now, it's like 12.30. And I just keep thinking about how I have to clean all this up um, before <laughs> tomorrow morning. Uh, we've got a Bark Speeder here. I actually bought this specifically because it's got the green that kind of matches this gunship here. I know they don't technically go together, but um, that's kind of why I bought it. We got a V19 torrent here. Um, and I bought this used at a comic book store in, in San Diego. And whoever owned it before me managed to wedge an original Attack of the Clones pilot in there, the ones that's got the, the really wide feet. Um, so that guy's never coming out of there. Uh, it doesn't matter to me though. I'll just leave him in there. He looks fine. Then we got the Battle of Christosis uh, red paint variant ATAP, which in my opinion is the best looking version. <clears throat> We've got another really, really cool vehicle here, the uh, Tiger Shark ARC-170. This is another vehicle that I would love to get uh, every paint variant of. I think there are four releases and in, in, in I would consider three different paint variants. Uh, there's the Imperial and then the kind of the red and white one. And I do know that there are two different red and white releases, but they're not different enough in my opinion to justify buying both of them. And we've got uh, one of my favorite vehicles. Again, not you know as, as good as, as these over here, but pretty good. Uh, Jedi Interceptors, this one's Obi-Wan's, Anakin's, and Alice Akira. Alice Akira's. This is one that I would love to um, get as many paint variants as I can get a hold of. You know, there's Mace Windu, the different paint variants of Anakin and Obi-Wan's, uh, Darth Vader's, you know, the list goes on. Interestingly, there is a version um, that was a Disneyland exclusive, or, Dis you know, Disney Parks exclusive, that's got Mickey Mouse ears on there. It's total garbage. <laughs> I don't know why they, I don't know why they didn't comes with a Mickey Mouse figure and literally just they this comes out on this if you've never seen and it, and it doesn't quite have room for a full astromech droid that's why they've got this here um, and, and Disney Parks was just like yeah we'll, we'll put pack in a, a regular astromech droid with the Disney ears you know, the Mickey Mouse ears right on top if you've got some time look it up it's really interesting total garbage though um, then we've got Anakin's uh, modified Starfighter from the original Clone Wars. Really a cool looking vehicle. I love the blue and white. It's one of my favorite color combos. Then we've got the uh, cannon here. I don't remember exactly what this is called offhand. It's got like a string of numbers. Uh, but really, really cool. I love the Clone Wars stuff. Uh, so this was a must have for me. I'm going to take a drink real quick because I can feel a coughing fit coming on and I'm a professional here. Uh, that's good. Alright, back on track here. The last part of this video that's honestly way too long is my Halo collection. Let me do a quick walk around here. This is a mixture of McFarlane and Mattel 6 inch. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into the middle here. We've got the McFarland um, Warthog. I would love to have you know more versions of this, but they have gone up astronomically in price. You know when these were on the shelves, I don't know if ever, anyone remembers, they were clearanced out like crazy. Nobody wanted these, uh, and now they're so expensive. I, I hate how that happens because if I had known, I would have bought uh, two more to do each uh, different turret. But now I only have the one, so I don't want to buy the turret packs, um, you know. 
And then there was a Toys R Us version with the mud on it, and I always thought it was like, oh, well, why would you want the version with the mud? Now that one's even more expensive, so I guess I'm the idiot. Uh, we've got the Mattel Ghost here, a couple mongoose, or mongoose, I guess. Um, then we've got a Jackal here, and then the McFarland uh, Ghost, which I love the Reach design uh, much better. This is honestly is a better toy uh, than the Mattel one. Not that the Mattel one is bad, uh, I just like the McFarlane one way more. So we'll come over here and we'll start in on a really good figure here, right? Everyone's favorite potato sack chief. Actually, this is garbage. Don't buy it. Uh, I only bought it because I, I think I got it for like clearance price or something. We've got some more over here. Walgreens exclusive. Uh, Spartan Lock, which everyone hates. Um, honestly, don't think it's that bad. It's not McFarlane's fault. It's really... The design is bad. Then we've got the Halo 2 Master Chief. Now this figure is really interesting um, because I somehow managed to get it like four months before anyone else did. Um, and it's one of the, other than the 18 inch Master Chief, one of the videos that, you know, kind of the first time I, I ever experienced like a lot of views um, and a lot of growth. So I just walked into a local Walgreens and just this guy was on the pegs and it was crazy. I mean, I, I bought it and I took it home and I put a review up and I couldn't find any any else, any other reviews of it, like at all. Um, and everyone was asking me, you know, oh my God, where did you, where did you find that? And I was like, it's literally just on the pegs at Walgreens. So I would love to know how th this figure was released so early. Uh, you know, to small town America, uh, sort of just blows me away. We've got the uh, ODSTs here. Uh, I wish they would just finish the squad. Obviously, that's never going to happen now. Um, but there was, you know, there's only like uh, a couple more to finish them off. Combat Evolved, uh, Master Chief, uh, ODST here. Just some more multiplayer sp Spartans and Buck here. Halo 3 Master Chief, Halo 4 Master Chief, uh, more multiplayer. We got the Didact, which this is the first time I've had this figure out in a long time, uh, just today while I was setting it up. This thing is so cool looking. Really, really a cool toy. Uh, let's save the uh, Mattel stuff here. We got some Reach um, Elites here, some Halo 4 uh, Elites here. The only Halo 3 figure I own which is this brute, I think this is a, I'm gonna butcher it, maybe a chieftain? I know this is a chieftain here, which is one of my favorite action figures ever. Uh, one of my favorites. Really cool, his mouth opens and everything. Just really cool, his helmet fell off, let's put that back on. Really cool though. Um, I really love the brutes though. I'm excited to see the Mattel um, brute from Halo Wars. Then we've got some grunts over here, um, and then I've got my noble team laid out here. Obviously, Cat, uh, George, Emil, June. Uh, this is Noble Six. Uh, this is the one that comes with the uh, mongoose over there. So he's got the Cortana uh, little pack payload here. Then we've got Carter, and then they released a an armor pack. Uh, which actually happened to look almost identical to my character, um, you know, in game. So um, I snagged that one and put it together. So he's always part of my noble team, even though you know noble six is, you know, probably a more accurate representation. We've got the crawler, uh, one of my favorite uh, Halo figures. Not my favorite figures of all time, just uh, Halo ones. Uh, Gunganir looks really cool. This is an interesting story with this one. Um, I was on vacation and I stopped into just a, a random Walgreens. I mean, years after the Halo Reach uh, figures had been discontinued um, and they were doing, you know, Halo 4. And I could never find this guy. This was a Walgreens exclusive with the Target locator. And this guy was just on the pegs for regular price. Um, I think there was even more than one. Uh, so I left it there for some other person. 
uh, to be happy with, but uh, kind of an interesting story there. Sometimes you, you get lucky with that kind of stuff. More Spartan multiplayer here. Um, mixture of Reach and, and Halo 4, 5 um, stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another Walgreens exclusive here, another one of my favorite Halo figures. More Spartans here. Now we're getting into Mattel 6 inch. So, uh, Mattel 6 inch yeah, elites here. We've got the Build a Figure Crawler. We've got Lock. Um, actually, I, I own, I currently own all of the um, all of the Halo Mattel figures, um, except for the con or the uh, convention exclusive one here with the blue lines instead of the white, um, excluding the ones that are not quite out on the shelves yet. I will be picking all of those up eventually for review if they come down in price. We've got Master Chief. We've got Kelly here, which is a figure that a lot of people hate. I guess a lot of them have problems with uh, the articulation, but... Uh, Mine, mine has kind of a loose head, but no other major problems. Then my least favorite Mattel Halo figure, Toys R Us exclusive, uh, uh, what was this one called? Eh, it doesn't matter, I hate it anyway. Then we've got this one here, Walgreens exclusive. Really cool figure, the exact opposite of the Toys R Us exclusive one. So guys, that's, uh, that's it. I know that this video has gone on for way too long. I'm sure you're tired of hearing my voice. Um, but, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And, and this is kind of a celebration of, uh, you know, almost 1,500 subscribers. We're not quite there, but uh, really exciting. Uh, never thought I would make it to this point. Uh, so it's really cool, um, you know, that you guys have all, uh, you know, enjoy the videos and, and actually want to watch and stuff. So... I really appreciate you guys and I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, if you've made it this far, you know, throw out, you know, what's your favorite figure? You know, is there any figures, you know, that I have that you want, uh, you know, I've always wanted and, and I'm sure that there are figures in your collections um, that I've always wanted. So just post down in the comment section, you know, what's your favorite action figure, um, you know, of all time, just let me know. Um, and if, have any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section below, and I uh, guess I'll see you later.